All right, hello and welcome to another session of Fit Essentials. I'm Shauna, I'll be taking you through class today. First, our disclaimer, you're about to engage in intense physical activity, proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate in this activity should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. All right, everybody, thanks for being here. Let's go ahead and come to your feet. Feet just underneath the hips, palms in front of the chest. We're gonna breathe in, stretch up nice and tall. We're going three cycles of this. And exhale, relax the arms down. Good job, feel free to close the eyes. Breathe in, stretch, pull the chin in and lengthen from your feet to the top of your head. Exhale, relax. Fantastic, one more. Breathe in, bring your awareness into your body and exhale, relax any stress, concern, worry, and so on, fantastic. We're just gonna start here, rolling our ankle around a couple times. So you can either balance or hold on to something, lift up out of one hip and we're gonna roll the ankle up and down, like about five times around here, clockwise and then we'll switch direction. So lift the toes, point the toes as you circle that ankle around the other way. About five times that other direction. Very good. And then we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, other side, lifting up. Everything nice and balanced. Point and lift as you rotate. Very good. And switching sides, point and lift, circle it around. Fantastic. All right, from here, we're gonna go palms out in front of the body. We're gonna move into our seal jack. So stepping out, open the chest, step in and close. Step out and open, step in and close. So you can go stepping here, kind of get some blood flow going. Or if you feel pretty warmed up, you can go right into a little bounce, nice and light. We get some blood flow going here and then we're gonna take it down to the floor for some stretching and some activation before our first circuit. Very good. Breathing, shoulders back and down. About 10 more seconds here. Very good. Next, we're gonna lift one arm, lift the opposite knee. You can go either a march, or if you're feeling, if you're feeling pretty warm here, wanna add a little hop, kind of skip in place. There you go. Fantastic, about 15 more seconds. Two, one, and relax. Next, we're gonna go hamstring stretch, one leg at a time. Heel down, toe up, bend that opposite leg, long spine. You're gonna bow forward, setting the hips back, and engage the glutes and stand. Good job. Let's go about five on each side. Hinging over, and stand straight up. Couple more. Just far enough so you kind of feel the back of the hamstring and then standing from there. Very good, once you finish that side, same thing, other side, plant that heel of that base foot and bow forward and stand. Fire those glutes as you stand tall, over and up. Three, four, and one more, hinging over and five, fantastic. Either repeat those seal jacks or join me with an overhead regular step jack, or now I can move into full on jump jack. Your choice, we're gonna go 30 seconds here and kind of vary it up a little bit. Step for some, jump for some as you feel. There you go. Fantastic, about another 15 seconds. Get some good blood flow going. If you're doing those jump jacks, just not too wide with your jump, just inside the hips and then hip wide, hip width. <laughs> Good work. And three, two, one, either a march and punch this time or back to your skip, your choice. Very good. Chest nice and tall, whichever you're choosing. Very good. 20 more seconds, a little bit longer on this one. 
We're gonna take it down to the floor next. Beautiful, 10 more seconds. Breathing and moving, very nice. And three, two, one, and relax. Very nice, go ahead and find a spot. If you've got a yoga mat nearby, we're gonna step nice and wide, feet on either side of the mat. Nice deep breaths here, slight bend in those knees. Send your hips back, reach down for the floor, and we're gonna gradually walk ourselves out. Come to the top of the plank, everything nice and strong, and then push through the ground, walk yourself back up to the top. Ah, very good, interlace the hands up to overhead. Slight bend in those knees, fire your glutes, look up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna head down once more. Reach out, walk it out. Midline strong, walking those hands right underneath the shoulders. And then when you're ready, on the way back this time, we're gonna kind of hang out in down dog before we go all the way back. So it's like a wide base down dog, push the head between the arms first, opening that mid back. And then go ahead and walk out those heels. Drop one heel down towards the floor and then the other back and forth a few times. And as you're supporting on your hands, really make a nice wide handprint. Grip your finger pads down, activate the arch of the hand. And then when you've got a nice stretch in those calves, once more, you're gonna push through the floor, bend the knees as needed, walk your way back up to the top. Very good. Making your way up, interlace the hands up to overhead, and now we're gonna bend side to side, towards one side, towards the other. Once more, towards one side and the other. Beautiful, and then last time, for now, we're gonna walk it back out. We're gonna come down to hands and knees. And next, we're gonna move into stretching out those forearms, just a hair, prepping the wrist. So for that, we're gonna go palms down, fingers towards you, and just gently rock back, and you can circle the body around. Switch directions as needed, same thing other way. Very good, then we're gonna interlace the fingers. So fingers point in and rock side to side. Very good, and then go ahead and shake out those wrists. Roll them around a bit more as you feel. Fantastic. And then we're gonna make our way back down, hands back underneath the shoulders. Now we're gonna walk the knees in and together so that they touch and core engage. You're just gonna gently rock the hips to one side and then up together and rock them to the other side. So just gently stretching out the side of the hips into the low back. Do about three times each direction. Very good. Once you've gone side to side there, we're gonna open up the inner thigh neck. So you can either keep the uh, sole of the foot up towards the ground or you can turn the toes under, whichever you prefer. We're gonna kick one leg out to the side and now we're gonna rock the hip back towards the heel, looking to open through the inner thigh here. So we'll rock forward and gently rock back. About three to five on each side, just taking your time. Most commonly, you're gonna feel it on this inner thigh. From time to time, you'll have some tension in that outer lower leg, and you may also feel it along the lower side of the leg there. Try to keep that foot down. So my side of the foot, this foot is planted, pushing it down, and then so on. Let's go about one more. You can even take your upper body into the equation a little bit by walking the hands away from your outstretched leg, as you drop back gently, and now you'll add that side body stretch into the equation. Pause here for a couple breaths. And then come on up, walk the hands back to center and same thing on the other side. I'll show it from straight on this time. So kicking the leg straight out, trying to keep that foot planted and then just nice and gentle, hip rocks back to the heel, rocking forward and rock it back. Shedding some layers over there, getting warm now. 
forward and back. Like I said, about five. On that last one, we'll walk the hands away from the outstretched leg. Add a little bit more side body stretch to it. So we just walk the hands over to the side, reach that inside arm nice and long. And you might notice that you're not able to drop the hips back quite as far. That's all right. See where that end range is. And then come on up and relax. Very good. From here, we're going to flip over onto our backs. Whenever you go to lie on your back, pay attention to the position of your shoulder blades. So we'll want to pull those shoulder blades back and down, put the chest in a nice open position. And then we're going to start with our windshield wipers. So I'm going to have my feet about hip width apart and just gently start to rock the hips side to side. And I just like to open the, up the chest here, bring the arms out to the side, call it like scarecrow arms. Just looking straight on. After you've gone about three times side to side with the windshield wipers, from there you're going to walk your feet in a little bit closer together and now rock your pelvis back. So you push that low back into the floor, pull the knees up and together, and now we'll gently bring both legs to one side, looking over the opposite shoulder. Gently let them drop down and then activate the abdominals. Pull the legs up and together to the other side and then peer over the opposite shoulder again. Breathing here, let's get about two on each side. Taking your time. Open. Up and across and same thing other way. Very nice. Once you finish that, we're going to move into bridge pose. So with the knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Again, kind of check in with those shoulder blades. So rocking them back. We're going to be going into a bridge and holding. If it doesn't feel good for anybody to hold, just gently do some pulses up and down with the hips. Otherwise, if you can interlace the hands underneath your body, work those shoulder blades back and down. And then once you have what we're doing, pull that chin in, look straight on towards the ceiling or sky. And then the more you pull that chin towards your chest as you push the hips up, the more you're going to get a nice opening along the back of the neck. So fire those glutes, hips up and open. We're going to go about 10 more seconds here. Breathe. Nice deep breaths. Hold. Again, really activate the glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And let's go ahead and bring them down and relax. Fantastic. Go ahead and pull both knees in towards your chest and rock yourself side to side. All right, next we're gonna open up the hips a little bit more with our figure four stretch. So let's take your right foot on top of that left thigh, reach between the legs with that right arm, outside the thigh with the left and hug that left leg in. Just take a moment here, allow the outer right hip to open. And then once it starts to open, we can add the left hamstring into the equation. We're going to extend the left leg straight up, point the foot towards the sky, pull the foot back towards your face, and then go ahead and bend the knee down, hug the leg in. So we're getting some glide and slide for that sciatic nerve along the back of the left leg. So again, we'll extend, point, lift the toes towards the face, and then hug the knee back in. Great job, everybody. One more cycle there, nice and smooth. Up, point, lift, and coming back down. Very nice, good, and release, same thing, other side. Opposite foot crosses over, reach between, hug it in, and just take a moment here, wake it up first before you go into that right leg. I like to gently rock the hip side to side a little bit, feel where any of that tension may be. And then when you're ready, extending the leg, Point the foot, lift the toes, and bend that knee down. Fantastic. Two more on your own. Great time to just relax the eyes closed. Give all those little tiny muscles of your eyes and your forehead a break. Once more, extend, point, lift, and down. All right, go ahead and relax there. We're gonna go one more cycle of that bridge pose, get some good glute activation before we make our way back up to our feet. So go ahead and set the feet, 
set the shoulder blades and whenever you're ready chin pulled in drive those hips up and forward and work in those hands underneath your body i'm going to hold for upwards of 45 seconds here if you need to come down at any point by all means so as i'm holding this pose i'm really focused to push my heels into the ground fire the glutes and a little bit of like an active pushing out against the knees so not really far but just have that all nice and strong and engaged. We're gonna go about 20 more seconds. Pulling that chin in, trying to make like a triple chin with the front of your neck. Allow the back of the head to open. We hold a lot of tension back there. And nice deep breath. Good, one more breath. And relax, gently bring yourself back down to the floor. Hugging those legs in once again. And then before we come to our feet, we're gonna roll onto our side and get a nice stretch for the quads before we make our way up. So you can come on up to the elbow, stack that elbow right underneath the shoulder, and then we'll grab the top foot, pulling the heel towards the glute, gently drive, driving that thigh back. I'm gonna hold about 20 seconds here. So check in with your shoulder position as well. You don't wanna be rolled forward, so set that shoulder blade back and down. Gradually encouraging that heel a little bit closer to the glute. And two, one, going to relax. Swing it around, same thing, other side. Set that elbow right underneath the shoulder. Find the heel and pull it back. Good job, 20 more seconds here. Good. Gently driving the leg back, not overstretching, just encouraging that quad to lengthen. Keep the quad nice and long, keeps our knees happy, keeps our hip flexors and low back happy. Two, one, and relax. Fantastic. All right, folks, let's go ahead and make your way up to your feet. Good time to grab some water. Our first circuit here is going to involve some balance work, either a single leg balance or for this crew, we're going to be demonstrating the uh, assisted single leg deadlifts. We'll be working on some good balance throughout. We're going to go two cycles of this today because we're going a little bit longer interval. So we're going to have 45 seconds to practice that movement. We're going to do some stretching in between legs and then we'll do the same thing other side. So like I said, it's going to be two rounds. So just a couple things to review here. This is a great one if you have like a chair or a wall or a doorway you can stand next to. If I'm working on the left, I can have that left leg close to the bench. And then I'm just simply like putting my hand here to push against to give a little downward pressure. And we're gonna be, again, you can just balance here if you need to, or you're gonna be practicing that forward hinge. As the chest comes over, this glute fires so that back thigh stays parallel, heel is planted, shin is vertical. I'm reaching down towards the floor, and then you're standing tall, lifting up out of the hips. And like I said, we'll be practicing about 45 seconds. This left hand is simply pushing into my chair here, or I could be against a doorway to help with that balance. So we'll go one leg and then the other with some stretches in between. Any questions before we begin? All right, we're gonna start here in 15 seconds, left side first. So place that foot down. You wanna get a nice solid grounding position, kind of gripping the toes a little bit. And then three, two, one, lift up through your core. And then as you're ready, start to hinge, making sure you have a little bit of bend in that support leg, standing tall. Good job. Think about being long from head to heel. So nice and gradually reaching down, lifting up and stand. Awesome job, crew. Control, bowing forward and up. Every time you come back to standing, before you start to hinge, lift up out of that hip and then start to bow forward. Very nice. Long body, leg reaches back. I'm watching you all, but typically you wanna be staring down at the floor about four to six feet, kind of in front of your foot. Let's get about one more, hinging over and then coming up nice and smooth. Good job, crew. After you finish that one, let's go ahead and rest. Obviously we are on the left side, so make sure that you are with us. And in between sides here, we're just gonna kind of put the hands on the hips 
And let's circle those hips around. A well, three to five one way. Don't mind my cutoff head. And then three to five the other. Very good. I'm just kind of rock them side to side. Fantastic. All right, about 10 seconds. We're going to get ready for that opposite side. So right foot planted this time. Set that foot, grip the toes, lift everything up. And two, one, here we go. Bowing forward, sliding that right hand down the doorway or post as needed. Long body position, hinging and stand. Very good. Being patient here. Find that spot to focus on and straight up. Wonderful. And we're really focused on stabilizing through that hip. So the tendency is for the hip to kind of kick out as you hinge. That's where you want to activate those core muscles. Like you're like a marionette puppet where everything's lifting up and that's going to help your stability. Let's get about one more long body position, hinging over and standing smooth. Beautiful. Go ahead and rest. We're going to go behind the back stretch with a forward fold in between legs this time. So go ahead and place the feet nice and wide. Get a good stable position. Interlace those hands, extend out the arms, ribs down so we don't arch here and lift up. Nice deep breath, and we're gonna send the hips back, bowing forward, pull those arms up to overhead. And you can gently kind of rock side to side, like you're trying to peer over one shoulder, back to center, and then peer over the opposite shoulder. A couple times each way. And then when you're ready, tuck the hips under, come on back to standing. Shake it out. And then we're gonna go back to that left leg here, 10 seconds. It'll be our last time through each side. If you want to hold a weight, you can. Otherwise, just focus on that balance. So I'd hold the weight in the opposite hand. And three, two, one, here we go. Bow forward. Firing that glute on the right leg to activate, lifting up that thigh. Good job, that looks great, Sharon. And up. Nice, Jean, nice and controlled. Hinging over and stand. Fantastic. That back foot, ideally we want it to be pointing down towards the floor. Sometimes we'll tend to roll the hips out and away. So down towards the floor. Fantastic. 10 seconds. Let's get about one or two more. It's not about speed on these. And two, one, and rest in between sides. Very good. So we'll go nice wide base stance again, and we're gonna kind of like add a hip shift with a side bend, reaching over your head as you reach across the hips, and then we'll come up and switch side, reaching towards the opposite thigh, peer up towards that arm that's reaching overhead. And just kind of go side to side here, a few times, reaching long over the head, back. There you go, very nice ladies. Once more each side. Very good. And last one. Fantastic. Shake it out, rock out those hips 25 seconds and we'll be at our last time on that right leg. Well done. So if you're gonna hold the weight, it's gonna be in the left hand. So you can kind of balance with that right hand. Place that right foot down, lift everything up, shoulders back. And three, two, one, here we go. Long spine, every time we stand, we lift up. Heel pushes into that floor as you hinge. So keep the weight back. Very nice. And if you're holding that weight, don't let it swing out. So keep it close. Like you're trying to put it down right beside the ankle of the foot that's on the floor. There you go, that's better, Sharon. Straight down and standing smooth. Fantastic. One or two more here, taking your time. Working on that hip stability. And two, one, and relax. Fantastic. 
Grab a quick sip and then we're going to open up through our hip flexors a bit. All right, we're going to do this from a standing position. We're going to interlace the hands, go ahead and stagger the feet. So let's have you go right foot back, interlace the hands, stretch up nice and tall, looking straight ahead. Make sure that front heel is planted, shin is vertical, and we're going to shift those hips forward, fire the glute on the right, and then rotate your torso towards your left side. So extend long and turning to the side. Breathe and rotate. Once more. Very good. We're going to relax the arms down. Stay in that position, though. We're going to add the tricep side bend. So right arm reaches up, chin in. Bend the elbow, grab, and now we're going to bend towards the side of that front leg. Lateral flexion, breathe in to lengthen, and then exhale, stretching the side body. Good job. Couple more. So Sharon, try not to drop your chest forward. So you want to be nice and tall and then just stretching to the side. That looks better. Good. One more there. Nice, Jean. All right. Shake it out. Same thing, other side. So right foot forward this time, left back. We're starting with the fingertips interlaced, stretching straight up, and we're gonna shift the hips forward as you rotate towards that front leg. Shift back, front heel firmly planted. Rotate about three to five times, and then we'll add that tricep into the equation. Breathe and twist. Very good. Relax the arms down, left arm this time straight up, bending that elbow, not letting yourself sink down. So lengthen, grab and bending to the side. Breathe and relax. Fantastic. All right, ladies. So next we're gonna be moving through one minute of either a deadlift or if you want to work with me on introducing a ground to overhead for those of you that may have not done it before that's what i'll kind of be instructing for we're going to have a full minute there then we're going to just take about 30 seconds here get a little blood flow going you can hop next side to side you can march whatever feels good then we're going to be going into either a push-up or a plank if you feel good to do a push-up recommend that i'm going to go ahead and, and demonstrate them off an elevated surface. Okay, so we wanna have good elbow position, elbows out to the side, ideally chest all the way down without losing the integrity of the like back position. So not letting yourself arch. And ideally you don't wanna be piped up super high. So hips and shoulders straight in a line. We'll have upwards of a minute of that. So you don't have to do those push-ups for the full minute, right? You could do like maybe five or so, hold the plank, shake it out if you need and then intermix the push-ups as you feel, or simply hold that plank throughout. Okay, you could also be down on the floor, on your forearms, or there. And we'll take about 15 seconds of transition. As we're speaking here, let's go ahead and start warming up that squat. So we're gonna to start to sink the hips back, feet about hip width apart. We're gonna have 30 seconds of either a, just a regular squat like so, or those of you that love that thruster, if you wanna include the thruster, you'll stand and add a little bit more overhead work. So we'll have 30 seconds of that squat. We'll take about a minute or so to rest and we'll be back to that, either the deadlift or the ground to overhead, whatever you prefer. Any questions? All right. So those that know the deadlift and that's your choice by all means. Otherwise, if you wanna do the ground to overhead, recommend a little bit lighter weights one in each hand preferably and we're going to start here in 10 seconds so you can just kind of follow me throughout you're gonna have your feet in so the toes are pointing straight ahead tall in the torso and two one here we go we're going to send the hips back bowing forward just like the deadlift as you stand hoist those weights up to your shoulders and now we're going to sit back into the heels drive up to overhead beautiful back to the shoulders send those hips back chin in from the ground, stand, hips to hoist up to the shoulders, and then dip and drive overhead. Fantastic. That's our rhythm there. So moving through, up, 
dip and drive. Fantastic. Halfway, that's 30 seconds. Bow forward, flat back, stand, hoist, dip, and drive. Very good. A few more. Over, up, dip, and drive. Nice, everybody. Fantastic. Long spine, hinging, stand, hoist, using those hips, down and up, and two, one, go ahead and rest. And set those weights down. Standing nice and tall here, you can choose to march, or if you wanna hop a little bit, get a little bit more blood flow, call them ski or hops, feels kind of like I'm solemn skiing, or mobile skiing, you can tell I've never actually done that. There you go, beautiful. We're taking 30 seconds here, getting a little bit more heart rate going, and then we're taking it to our plank or our push-up interval. All right, two, one, and transition. 10 seconds till we start that plank push-up, either elevated or down the floor. Two, one, and here we go. Elbows stay in towards the side. You wanna avoid those shoulders shooting forward. I'm gonna tell you like every 15 seconds here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up for 15 seconds and I'm gonna hold for 15. So there's our first 15. Do what makes sense for you. If you need to come off the arms at any point, give the upper body a break, please do. Coming up on our 30 second mark, two, one, and that's 30. So if you wanna go back to the push-ups, you can. Make sure you feel confident for it, full range of motion, moving with control. No shame in doing elevated push-ups. Sometimes that's better progress. That's 45 seconds in. We got 15 seconds left in this interval. Midline strong. Breathe. And just watch those elbows. Don't hyperextend if you tend to be hypermobile and walk the feet in. There's our rest. All right, we'll take about 15 seconds. Next, we have our squats or the thruster. Completely up to you. And three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm going to demo the thruster for this guy all the way down, all the way up. Good, everybody. Breathe. Fantastic. Moving with control. Good. I usually breathe in as I go into the squat and then I exhale. I dry those hips open. Good. Just under 10 seconds. Sinking back, driving tall. And three, two, one, and rest. Fantastic, grab a drink. That's a full cycle through. We'll be back to that ground overhead in 30 seconds. So again, just take a minute, kind of sidestep here. Wanna bring that heart rate down so we can have good focus on that ground overhead. Fifteen seconds. So again, you can always sub the deadlift if you prefer, or moving through. If you're doing the ground overhead, feet about hip width apart, tall chest. Two, one. Here we go. Long spine, hips send back, hoist into the shoulders, dip, drive straight up. Nice. Take your time here. Hit those positions. Hinging, core strong as you boost them up. Dip and drive, fantastic. Over, up, down, and up. Smooth, good job, everything tight, midline strong. Down and push, beautiful. 30 seconds in, long spine. Keep breathing. Fantastic. 15 seconds left, that's 45 done. Very nice, everybody. Got one more. And two, one, and transition. Very good. Our march or our skier hops next, totally up to you. You wanna start early whenever you're ready. Fantastic. 
And if you're hopping here, we want to have like a nice relaxed ankle position. So I'm on the balls of my feet, but I allow the heels to kind of graze down. So I'm not staying with tension through my calves. Just nice and light, kind of pumping the arms. Or if anything doesn't feel good to bounce, just march here. 10 more seconds. Great job. And three, two, one, and relax. Good work. Making our way to our plank position. Planks or push ups going in 10. And once again, I'll give you every 15 seconds. Two, one, here we go. You're doing that push up. Elbows staying fairly tight to the sides, about a 30 to 45 degree angle. That's our first 15 seconds. I'm gonna push up for the first 30 and plank for the second 30. Five more seconds to hit the halfway. Two, one, that's our 30 second mark. Sharon, try to reach, lifting up a little bit right between your shoulder blades. Don't let yourself sink in. Like someone's gonna tap you right between your shoulder blades and you push your spine up against them. That looks better. Very good. 10 seconds to go. Keep pulling that belly button in, not letting that low back arch. And three, two, one, walk it in. Very good. 15 seconds to transition to the squat. Squat or thruster. This is the end of set two. Place the feet about hip width apart, slight toe out, and two, one. Here we go, sending them back. Drive tall. Beautiful, good, breathe. Fantastic. Halfway, everybody. That's the way, <clears throat> good job. And a couple more, two, one, and rest. Woo, beautiful, we'll take 30 seconds. Nice deep breaths, good job grabbing water. We're gonna go one more round there. All right, 10 seconds, we're back to our deadlift. Or if you're following me with the ground to overhead, stand tall, shoulders back, and two, one, here we go. Make sure you breathe as you move, using those hips to boost the weights up, long spine as you bow forward, good job. Hinge and drive, fantastic, great overhead, Gene. Hips back, up, hoist it to the shoulders, dip to drive, beautiful. As you dip into that little quarter squat to go overhead, knees push out, heels push down. There's 30 seconds done. Keep breathing, great work. Fantastic. Hinging, standing, midline strong as you hoist those weights up. One to two more, everybody. Fantastic, last one, and two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Place your weights in a safe spot. Last time of either marching or our little skier hops. Woo. Beautiful job. There you go, 20 seconds left. A little bit longer one here. Remember, nice, relaxed, lower foot. Good time to smile. Give those arms however you want. Free up some energy, have some fun. Five more seconds. There you go, two, one, and transition. Last set of planks or push-ups. I'm gonna do similar to the last round where the first 30 seconds of push-ups, Second 30 seconds of a plank hold. Three, two, one. Here we go. Everything strong. 
Midline tight. Be smart on your push ups. Don't rush them. Go through that full range as you're confident. Beautiful. We're over 15 seconds, and that's 20 seconds. And there's our halfway point. Breathe in and hold. Pulling those ribs down, not letting the back arch. Under 20 seconds to go. Anytime you need to shake it out, by all means, please do. 10 seconds. And three, two, one, walk it in. 15 seconds to transition, last set of that squat or the thruster. Doing great, everybody. Set the feet about hip width apart, chest tall, and two, one, here it is. Hips back. Have your eyes straight ahead. Try not to look down towards the floor. It's gonna help your, help your chest to stay tall in that squat. So looking straight on, drive those heels down, drive those knees out. Fantastic. Keep that breathing going. Maybe one more, two, one, woo-hoo. Now grab some water. Well done. All right, folks. Okay, so that four two minute intervals to go. There's not gonna be rest in between exercises. So we'll just transition through. I gave the option of a bent over row. I'm gonna encourage a seated row because we did a decent amount of hinging in that last unit. So if you do wanna bend over, you can. If you have a band you can use, you can do it seated and we'll just do 30 seconds. We're focusing on that horizontal pull, all right? From the 30 seconds, you're just gonna go right into our sunny side get up. So you'll put your band to the side, lay back, reach those arms to overhead. From here, we're gonna sit up, okay? You can roll to the side to get up, or if you have the ankle flexibility to come straight up from the back, then go straight forward. So I extend, everything's flat, my head touches the ground, drive your arms, drive up, if you can, you can walk the feet and if you can go here, that's fantastic. If you're going side to side, simply alternate. Sometimes roll to the left and sometimes roll to the right, all right? And just be aware that you're keeping your body in good position, paying attention to where you have your knees positioned, all that kind of good stuff. But we're gonna have a full minute on the ground, off the ground, on the ground, off the ground. And then once that minute's up, you can either take a 30 seconds break or a little bit more jumping We'll go about 20 seconds of a jumping jack so we can get back down and in position for that seated row. So it'll be eight minutes total, moving and breathing, and then we'll finish with a couple stretches. If anyone doesn't quite feel ready, just join when you are. We're gonna start here in 10 seconds. Seated row first, so one foot or two feet Sit nice and tall, and here we go. Shoulders back. <clears throat> Pull those elbows in nice and tight. It's great to just pause on these, not worry so much about rep count, but just that quality. So we're really building that mid-back strength, reach, and then back and in, shoulder blades back and down. Breathe as you move here, good. Perfect, Sharon, so that one arm whirl works and just alternate arms each round. So next round, do the opposite arm. Two, one, and here we go for our get-ups. Laying back, laying flat, sitting tall, either over to the side or straight on. And like I said, this is our first of four rounds. So better to pace yourself through it, moving consistently or a little bit faster as you get Moving through. Very good. That's 30 seconds in. Two, 
getting on the ground and off the ground. One of those things that seems like it should be pretty simple, but when you do it, you can really bring up that heart rate about as functional as it gets as far as maintaining our independence. 10 seconds left. You can stay on your feet when you get there for some step jacks or jump jacks. And there's our transition. Step or jump. And the headless jumping jack lady here. Very good. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna get back to the floor. We're ready for that arm row. Good job, and transition back. So Sharon, do your opposite arm this time and you'll get two rounds on each arm. So I think you did your left arm last time, now the right, two, one, here we go. She's doing a single arm row for anyone that's confused. So in and squeeze, reach. Those of you that are seated here with me, think really tall, sitting up out of your sit bone. So that little bone that kind of rubs into the floor, lift up and out, out of there, good job. Reach, squeeze, one more, reach forward and hold, two, one, and transition. Get ups or sunny side burpees. You can use your hands here. It's not cheating, just using your body to assist you through. Try to get your feet onto your heels. And even as you sit back, so basically it involves a squat here to get on and off the ground or a lunge, however you wanna see it. Extend everything, legs extended, arms extended. We're halfway through this interval. Nice job, everybody. Laying back, sitting up. And as you come up in that sit up, watch that low back. So practice that lower ab activation of pushing the low back into the floor, not letting that low back arch. Maybe one more and three, two, one, step jacks or jump jacks. Good job, end of set two. Good, 20 seconds till we start again for set three. All right, let's head into position. So Sharon, you'll be back on your left arm for set three. Sitting tall, two, one, and here we go. Shoulders that back and down. Reach forward, breathe out, to pull in. Obviously, the shorter the band, the more resistance you're gonna have. And as I pull my elbows in, I'm kind of turning my palms up towards the ceiling. So palms are down as I reach forward, palms turn up as I row in. That's for the double arm row though. Don't worry about that on yours, Sharon. Two, one, and get ups. Get down to get up. And we're gonna pull that low back into the floor as you're moving to your feet. And we wanna extend the legs, so don't just curl back. Make sure you extend those hips before you get up. Legs go straight, arms go straight, then we get up. That looks better. We're not doing candlesticks for any of those. I know the gymnastics movement. Good work, everybody. We're over halfway on set three, moving well. Fantastic. Hey, one to two more, 15 seconds. And we'll be into our jumping jacks. Nice job, Jean. Beautiful. And three, two, one, step or jump. Whew. Well done, good job. Twenty seconds till we start round four. It's our final one. If anybody's kind of cooked for the day, they say, "Hey, I'm done," and listen to it. Otherwise, ten seconds. So Sharon, back to that right arm this time. Last time through on this row. Two, one. Here we go. Reaching forward. 
Those of you that are with me on the bands, palms up as you row in. Really nice broad chest. So lift the chest, be proud. Good, strong posture. Just holding our posture in a good position can help us to feel more confidence, feel more elation. And three, two, one, final round of get ups. Woo -woo. Get down, open, and get up. Smile when you get up to your feet, celebrate. You're above ground, we're alive. Building some strength and maintaining our functionality and independence on and off the ground. One of those things that's easy to take for granted. And so one day it's a little harder than we ever expected. That's our 30 second mark. Great job. Twenty seconds to go. And then we'll have everybody finish together all the way through that last 30 seconds of step jacks or jump jacks. Beautiful job, five seconds. And transition whenever you get back to your feet. Like I said, we'll finish with step or jump. Whew. Nice job, final little push here. <laughs> My neighbor, the hound dog is talking. I don't know if you all can hear him. He's hilarious. 10 seconds left. Very vocal. And three, two, one. Woo, give yourself a round of applause. Nice job, everyone. All right, go ahead and stay on your feet. Good time to grab your water. We'll do a couple stretches to finish. Nice work. We're gonna start, start with a calf stretch. So if you've got a, a doorway frame, a chair nearby. Even on your dumbbell, you can kind of prop your foot up on the edge of that. But pick a side you wanna start on, heel down, toe up, leaning into that surface, and then lean into it. Get a nice stretch along the back of the calf. This is a great one to do if you have a staircase at your house. Especially if you kind of notice you have a little bit of tension in the back of the calves as you're coming up your stairs. Just pause on that last step, hold on to the railing and drop that heel down. Get a nice stretch in the calves. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, other side. Toe up, lean in, and breathe. Very good. Next, we're going to go to the upper body stretch, opening up the chest after all those push ups. So, if you don't have a doorway or a wall behind the back stretch, otherwise, elbow about shoulder height, inside foot steps in, lean in and turn away. Opening up the front of the chest on the side that's closest to the wall. Nice deep breaths. Is when you want to focus to intentionally bring that heart rate back down. Switch side, same thing, other side. So exercise is our intentional stress on our body. We stress our body so that it can respond to that stress and build strength from that stimulus. But we have to set ourselves up to recover from that stress so that we can come back stronger. So using your breath to just bring that heart rate back down. It helps to downshift your nervous system. So you go from that state, we call it our flight or fight nervous system into that rest and digest. So we don't wanna spend more time than necessary in that stress state. Relax out of the, that side. We're gonna go quad stretch next, everybody. So balance as needed, lifting up, grab that foot. And our body doesn't know the difference between an actual stress of like, somebody knocking on our house and trying to rob us and being stressed out there or a stress of watching the news and having concern over the health of everybody and everything that's going on. So especially these times, super important that you kind of create your little sacred space, pray, breathe, switch legs, you know, whatever helps yourself to calm down. 
Make sure you allow your body to not always be in that place of worry. Find something that brings you joy. And that's gonna be what supports your immune system. Because when your body's worried about surviving, it's not putting energy towards healing. So that's why it's important. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and come on down to the floor. We're just kind of finished with a similar stretch that we started with, rocking those knees in and gently rocking the hips side to side. So just a little stretch for that low back. And then from here, I'm gonna take you to child's pose to finish. So you'll bring and keep your toes together. Now this time, walk the knees nice and wide, walk those hands out and just nice and gentle, drop the hips back, drop the head down. And just spend some time here. This is where you can use the breath to breathe into the areas that you feel tension. Relax everything on those exhales and add in anything else that you feel. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and call it here for the day. Stay hydrated, take care of your body, your mind, and all that good stuff. Thanks so much, hope to see you all next time.